Well, you ever made one of those backpacking purchases that you wondered about? This little guy right here bought it. It was cheap. Uh, looked like a good way to cut some wood. So let me show you what's inside. All right, perfect opportunity to review a piece of gear that I have. It's uh, in this little handy dandy pouch right here. I'll flip the camera around and show you what it is. All right, here's a close up look at what it is. Pull it out of the pouch here. You'll see that there is uh, just your typical chainsaw blade. Put the chains like that. What's unique about this chainsaw blade? It's got this nice little attachment here with a couple of handles. So you can only imagine that it's used for cutting wood. And then you wrap that around the tree and you make the motion with your hands and it cuts through the wood. Let's see how it works. So we got this little turnout up in the wind as we notice this broken aspen branch. So we thought we would check it out and see how that saw works on it. Alright, buckle up with the see we gotta go underneath like that. Let's see. Probably. Up here a little higher. Alright, I think we're probably gonna need to give it some tension so I'm gonna Okay. Well, it's in there pretty good, that's probably why. Yeah. Okay, well. Maybe can, well, no. Failure. Oh, no, it's not a failure. It's cutting through really good. Mm -hmm. I think I was just binding it up by having a tension on there. Well, look in there. So it looks like. Good enough to not, cut not it. Not quite go all the way through, but. Good enough to hmm. get the job done, I guess. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the rest of the way through it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Voila. Okay, one more. Right here, we'll see if we can't get this one off. Put my hands in the handles here. His workout, by the way. It's almost through. Mm hmm. Maybe you can take it out and flip it around to. I don't know. It's probably it the enough other just way. to. It's through enough that you can snap it off. Excellent. <laughs> All right, let's see the job that it did here. So, cut number one right there. Not too bad. Cut number two, even better. Gets the job done if you're in a bind, but it certainly wouldn't be my first choice to get the job done often. So anyway, there you have it. We are here to demonstrate this new saw. George will be the muscle behind this new saw. <laughs> so, not the brain. Here we go. It's made of, made of a genuine carbide tipped uh, chainsaw blade. And, uh, you know, as you can see, it does a pretty good job if you put a little more muscle behind it. But wow, look at that. That didn't take very long at all. So, next time you want to use the saw, take it off of your hat, and uh, <laughs> then you'll have it. Well, now that I've tested it, I know how it works. Uh, it would not be my first choice for cutting wood. In the backcountry, but it's a great uh, backup if you need one. Uh, maybe heading down the four wheeling road somewhere and a tree's across the, the road, you could pull this out and get the tree out of the way to 
unblock your path but I don't know there's there's better options out there I think than this but it was cheap it's lightweight it's something I can carry around so I carry it even though I probably might not use it very much so uh, I didn't highlight the brand um, there's several out there they're all about the same they all look the same um, anyway uh, it could be a good option for somebody uh, to get out of a bind but wouldn't be my first choice.